It was at this year's Australian Open that, with a heavy heart, Aussie legend Leighton Hewitt bowed out of the sport. After an emotional defeat to David Ferrer in the second round, Hewitt ended his career in front of his home fans. All of them sad to see him go. His passion really did it for me. He's a fighter and I think that's what Australians like. Never die guy, he's always out there fighting to the end. His commands were just incredible. Go Hewitt, come on! A fighter on the court, Hewitt's attitude and spirit will never be forgotten by those who saw him rise to the top. I really do think he is the greatest, and I say this to his face, I say he's the greatest warrior I've ever seen on the court. I've never seen a guy try so hard and work so hard to achieve what he's done. He deserves every tribute that anyone wants to get to him because there's no other player that's worked that hard. The stuff that Leighton took to the top of the game, being prepared, being mentally tough, uh, fighting every time, um, those are all things that you can teach someone and show someone and he's, he's the example that I always use. I, I, I don't know that I could have more respect for, for Leighton as a, as a player. He's, I think, one of the greatest competitors of all time. Um, you know, you see what he's done for the sport, for Australian tennis, Davis Cup, he's a, he's a true competitor and he, he loves the sport, you know, he's done so much for me, um, for all the young juniors. I have so much respect for Leighton and I'm sure all of Australia and the world has a lot of respect for him. It certainly is a person with, with a different flair of, of you, you know, you, he walks out on the court and he says, I'm ready, so I'm going to give my best. And, and I think that just shines all the way through him. One of the all-time greatest competitors, full stop, but, you know, a, a true leader in Australian tennis. One of the many career highlights for Leighton was clinching the year-end number one spot during a thrilling final week to the 2001 season. Throughout that whole year, I hadn't focused on trying to get to number one in the world at all. I hadn't crossed my mind. And then there was three of us in the end that could have, if we won the tournament, we would have ended up world number one. That was, Guga was obviously leading, I was number two, and then Agassi was number three. In the end, on the Friday night, I had to play my good mate, Pat Rafter, uh, for the number one position. He was like a big brother to me, Pat, for so many years and, and to be out there and looking back on it, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way to actually share that experience and that moment with Pat, who was a former world number one as well. Uh, it was really special, especially in Sydney. He has more than 17 years on the ATP World Tour to look back on. So how does Leighton Hewitt reflect on a career played out at the top? To know that all the hard yards and sacrifices that you make uh, you know, pay off and uh, you know, just sitting back and yeah, for me there was always the opportunity of, of playing for Australia and winning Davis Cups and trying to get to the pinnacle of our sport and, and holding up a Grand Slam trophy and uh, you know, within a couple of years on tour I was fortunate enough to have all three. The quality that most will remember though is the fearless competitor. There was no one prepared to give more on court than Leighton Hewitt. Big fighter, um, didn't mind getting into sort of a, almost felt like a confrontation almost when, when he was playing, he turned it into that sort of, that sort of match and, and a battle. That I would have had the utmost respect for him, it was incredible to see his rise in the rankings uh, as a player as well, as a smaller guy, so feisty, you know, and to really change the game forever. I always admired him a lot. His attitude on, on court, uh, his mentality have been great and uh, an inspiration for me. I think that's uh, you know just the, the my personality. Um, I think it's something you're born with, and you know I, I think I'm a true competitor out there. Um, it wouldn't matter what I was doing. I, I want to try and get the absolute best out of myself, um, and I feel like it, it's pushed me to keep going and have such a long career. He'll look back on his career and go, yeah, wow, I gave it everything and look what I got out of it. Fantastic career, so he should enjoy his retirement. He's been very good for Australian tennis. I think now everybody really respects Leighton for, for what, he, what he's done, what he's achieved. I look back at some great memories and wish him, of course, all the best in retirement and congratulations on a most amazing career. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, with all the action as Australia crowns its champion for 2016.
And 12 tournaments in four weeks. We preview the busiest month on the ATP World Tour calendar. Frantic February. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.